Hello everyone, my name is Rahul. In the previous video, we had discussed about phylum Mollusca and in this video, we are going to discuss about phylum Echinodermata. The word Echinodermata is made up of two words. Echino means spiny and derma means skinned. So these animals are spiny skinned animals. That is, they have spines on their body for protection. Spine on their body for protection. Talking about their general features, they have bilateral symmetry in larva and radial symmetry in adults. As we have already discussed that bilateral symmetry is a new characteristic and radial symmetry is a old characteristic. So this type of development of larva to an adult where a primitive characteristic appears, this type of development is known as retrogressive, retrogressive metamorphosis, retrogressive metamorphosis. Metamorphosis is the development of larva into adult and since a new feature is being reverted back to a primitive feature, it is known as retrogressive metamorphosis. They have a enterocelomic type of eucelome, that is they are coelomates. Enterocelomic type of eucelome. They have a organ system level of organization, organ system level of organization and they are triploplastic that is they have three germ layers they are triploplastic talking about their special characteristics these are non-segmented they are non-segmented there are no body segments there is also no head there is also no head these are these are mostly marine and found at sea bottom and sometimes sometimes they can be free swimming sometimes they can be free swimming the most distinctive feature is the presence of ambulacral system ambulacral system or which is also known as water vascular system water vascular system water vascular system acts something like a rocket if you have seen a rocket it propulses the fuel from one side and it takes off in the opposite direction such is the case with ambulacral and water vascular system which is used for locomotion capture of prey and transport of food and transport of food the ambulacral system has two openings. One is known as medriporite, which is the entry point for water, entry point of water, and there are tube feet from where water exits with a force and helps in the movement of organism. Digestive tract is complete. That is, there are two openings, one acts as a mouth and one acts as an anus and they are deuterostomic. They are deuterostomic. That is, anus forms first and mouth forms later. Circulatory system is of open type and heart and respiratory pigment are absent. Heart and respiratory pigment is absent heart and respiratory pigment is absent in digestive tract mouth is usually ventral and anus is dorsal it has two openings mouth and anus mouth is generally ventral and anus is usually dorsal now excretory system they are mostly ammonotelic that is 
they excrete out ammonia dissolved in water this is done through gills this is done through gills talking about nervous system nervous system is made up of nerve ring and nerve cords nerve ring and nerve cords brain is absent brain is absent there is no brain sensory organs are also not well developed not well developed reproduction can be both asexual and sexual in asexual reproduction they have the ability of self division regeneration and autotomy autotomy means that when an external agent grasps a part of their body they can leave that body part behind if you have seen a lizard if you step on a lizard's tail the lizard will lose its tail and will run away this property is known as autotomy similar property is present in echinoderms now in sexual reproduction they are mostly unisexual or dioecious fertilization is mostly external fertilization is mostly mostly external and larva stage is present and larva stage is present that is there is indirect development indirect development now talking about the examples we have asterias pentaceros and oreaster they are all known as starfish they are all known as starfish this is a starfish ophiura and ophiothrix they are known as brittle stars brittle stars now brittle stars are the only members brittle stars are the only members which are protostomic which are protostomic rest all members are deuterostomic brittle stars are protostomic holothuria and cucumeria are known as sea cucumbers they are known as sea cucumbers echinus is also known as urchin and antedon is known as sea lily antedon is known as sea lily with these examples we are done with the phylum echinodermata see you in next video